Go ahead. Right. You, Can you hear? I hear you. What do you think you about me? what do you think about Palestine story? Well, I'm. Uh, I, I used to actually live in Gaza, and oh. uh, I was there when Hamas took over the Gaza Strip. All right. In 2007, and so I just uh, I just want to say to like these these kids who are demonstrating in the streets in America, I just want to tell them that you guys are not helping the Palestinians at all. You know, because what happens when they do this is that the Jews get, the Jews here get scared. And what happens when they do that is they move to Israel. And so Israel gets, gets bigger. That's what happens when they start persecuting the Jews in France, when they persecute them in Russia, they go to Israel. And so Israel, yeah. So yeah. They, they are wrong for that reason only. You you said you, you not were, just for that reason. Yeah, because if you were there, you know what they did to the Palestinians, who they are not, member of Hamas. They kill them, they slaughter them, they torture them, they make them walk in the street naked, they throw them from the top of the roof. Correct. Yep. Yeah. I was there, and in fact, near my house, where I, I was living in Khan Yunus in the south and uh, the, one of the last things they did is they put a ton of explosives under two of the security buildings of Fatah and killed like 50 men like yeah. that yeah all of them are all of them are muslims all of them are palestinians not and only so, that uh, many years after uh, i think uh, maybe 7 years after that date there was a group of muslims they are terrorists like them too I think they call themselves the, the soldiers of Allah or something like that. And the Palestinian Hamas, they surround them, they slaughter them, they kill them all. So yeah. it's, they are very well known. Same time, if I ask you, as long as you are a witness, you are from there. And I'm assuming that obviously you speak Arabic and you are from there. So uh, who is the one make Hamas popular? Is it true that the majority of the population support them? The majority supports them, and the they voted them in. I was there, like I said, when they voted them in. But the, a lot of the people, they're so poor, and you know what, what they did is that they would go to the people's houses and, and pick them up and drive them to the polls. Uh, Hamas is very good at democracy. They know how to use democracy. They know how to manipulate democracy, and George Bush... He was the one who was pushing for these elections in Gaza. And uh, and he, you know, they thought for sure the people are going to vote for Fatah. Well, the you know, Fatah was so corrupt. You know, they, they, were, they were stealing the people's money. It's like you had a choice between a bunch of thieves or a bunch of murderers. And, and then Hamas, they were very smart. They would go to the people's houses, pick them up, and, and drive them to the polls to vote for them. And so, uh, you know, the people voted for them, but... Uh, you know, one thing that they thought, okay, democracy has come to the Middle East, but the problem is, is there hasn't been another election since then. You know, they're not allowed to have an election, you know, and this, I think... This is what happened when you bring yeah. a Muslim terrorist like Erdogan, and in the name of democracy, they win election, but the second they are there, they will leave. They will never leave. That's true. <laughs> they, they, so, they, 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 they use democracy to get in, Yes. This is this is what uh, Golan, the, the 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 master mastermind of Golan uh, of uh, of Erdogan, but later Go, uh, Golan he switched against Erdogan. This is what he said: You have to be quiet until you feel that you can carry everything over your shoulder, and then you flip everything. So they go quiet. They claim themselves that they are they believe in democracy. People they should vote. Uh, everybody will have the right to vote. But the second they are in the office, you are dead. It's like bringing, the, bringing, bringing a neighbor, his name is Mice to your house. Good luck with that. Or a cockroach. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. You, uh, oh, and, then, oh. and then you ask them to vote you out. <laughs> I'm going to vote. I vote you in, I vote you out. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is the, the way the, 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 all these kids on college campuses are supporting them right now. You know, and, you know, at the end of the day, I, I really think, you know, I'm Palestinian. I love, you know, uh, I love my people. 
But I just want I want to tell my people, you know, it's not that anybody loves us so much. They just hate the Jews. And, you know, it's like we are a way of legitimizing their hatred of the Jews. And so that's that's kind of what you I know, see in these. Uh, you know, Hussein, I want to ask you, those people, they claim that uh, those Israeli, they are like the same as South Africa when the white people, they separate the black people, you know, from the society. But is it true that in October 7, there's more than 150,000 Palestinians from Gaza working inside Israel? Yep, and they're the only one. And if you, if you could see... <laughs> so so how, they are, see. how they are separating them, how they are jailing them, and 1,050, guys, 1,050, uh, Hussein is a Palestinian, as he said. So... I assure you that those Arab families, everyone he sponsored ten at least, at least, you know, like my dad, my 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 yeah. grandfather, you know, like once we have a dinner, we have a lunch, like for in grand, my grandfather house, we have we counted ninety six boys over the age of eighteen, ninety six, just boys. We did not count the girls, we did not even count the one is under eighteen, so. You can imagine one person, how many people he sponsored. He is the father of a family. So when we say 150,000 people working from Gaza, that we are talking about at least 1.5 million people. They are sponsored by the money they make from Israel. So how in the world, the Israeli, they hate them, they, they uh, subrogate them, and then they give them jobs, and then they, you know, you make money and then you go home every day and you know nobody stop you nobody bother you your boss is a jew your co-worker is a jew you are welcome you work you make money you go home how come how they say that those people are racist and they build the wall we know what they build the wall they build the wall for security because every day there's kidnapping every day there's you know a, a, a assault every day there's a stab so don't, don't those liberals those liberals those queer do you have doors in your houses do you have lock why you lock it because you are concerned about your security so why the jews who they are very concerned about their security and they are target for no reason except that they are jews you see when they say that the jews took the land then the quran says that this is the land of the jews and Muhammad said, this is the land of the Jews. In fact, the cities of Medina, where Muhammad the grave is, is the city of the Jews. If those people, they want really to bring the land to their honor, real honor, then you have to give the land, which is called Palestine, to the Jews. The real Palestinians are not the Arab. Hussein, do you consider yourself an Arab? I do, you know, let's say, uh, but, but I know the... Uh, but then you are not Palestinian. Yeah. Well, you see, that's the problem. If you look at, like, what uh, all the government says, you know, like, talk about the Palestinian government. First, they say we're the Canaanites. Then they say we're the Philistines. Then they say we're the Amorites. <laughs> and then they say we're the Hittites and the Hivites. And it's like, Ishmael was, was long after all of that, if they want to consider us Ishmaelites, you know, descended from First Arabs. of all, first of all, Ishmael, he has nothing to do. Ishmael had nothing to do with all those people because Ishmael, his father is an Aramaic from Iraq, his mother is an Egyptian, and he married an Egyptian. So how that will make him, Egyptian are not the Arab, not those Arab right now, they occupy uh, Egypt. So the Egyptian are the Coptic. They are Egyptian, those are the real Egyptian. They have their own language, they, they are African, they are, the, the Arab are white. The Arab are not from Africa. The Arab are a, a, not, from Asia. They are not from Africa. So Ishmael have nothing to do with them. And then those nations who exist, the Palestinians, according to historian, most likely they are coming from Greek tribes or let us say Cyprus or etc. Have nothing to do. And the word Palestinian means strangers, migrants. So even the word itself, the name itself, tell you, that whoever carry that name is not from that land. Imagine you are Native American and I call you the migrant. Well, you are Native American. I am the migrant. 
you know? So, so yes. the, the name itself, Palestinians, mean the migrant, the strangers, the one who yeah. they are not from the land. This is what the name means. You do not need to be genius. You can go right now and check it out. So those stupid, queer for Palestine, uh, uh, LBGBTQ, uh, liberals, atheists, you know, like now we are waiting for any one of them to join us to give us a dispute, to give us a reason and to, be, to say what they are saying, but they cannot. And you are a person, and the funny is, look how funny, guys. Hussein himself is from there, and he considered himself, what he spoke to me, as a Palestinian, at least by name. Because we know that the Arab are not Palestinians. However, he is born there. He is from a family, the family from a family, the family from a family. And let us say they are coming or all uh, either from the Arab or from the Aramic. He himself, he agree that all the problem that the other side is a Jew. It's not even about the land and nobody want to listen. You see, when the, when the Ottoman occupied this territory for hundreds of years, nobody complained. Egypt. When the last time the Egyptian they have Egyptian king? Never. Since Islam came, the ruler is not an Egyptian. Until the last king. Yasser Arafat himself is not even a Palestinian. Like what is the name of the government of the Palestinian was exist when they say Palestine? Who is the one can name for me the king of Palestine? When the last time those Palestinians, they have a government and they have a king or a kingdom. So they have big mouth. They are ignorant about history. Quran witness that this is the land of the Jews. Muhammad witness that this is the land of the Jews. You know, when I was in the Middle East and you are a Middle Eastern like me, uh, the, the teacher, he was speaking, inshallah, we will take Jerusalem back and we will take the, the, uh, the Aqsa back. So I said to him, who is the one who built that uh, Aqsa, you know? He said, the Prophet Suleiman. I said, but isn't, <laughs> but isn't it Prophet Suleiman is a Jew? <laughs> I mean, look at this madness. So they admit uh, that the Jews are the one who build. And now they are saying, we're going to take it back. Take it back from who? Take it back from the one who he built it? So this is how hypocrite they are. They hijack a name. So now they, they occupy Iraq. They call themselves Iraqi. They occupy Syria. They call themselves Syrian. They occupy Egypt. They call themselves Egyptian. They occupy any land and they carry the name and then they claim the land. They claim the language. They claim the history. Like if you ask a Muslim from Egypt, are you an Arab? He says, yes. Are you proud about Ramses? Oh yeah, we are proud. You know, our ancestors. Look, what the heck? How you are an Arab? <laughs> and Ramses is your ancestor. <laughs> so imagine I just came to America and I get my citizenship, and now I hijack the history of the Indian, American. I say, I am native Indian. And by the way, those things can happen a lot in America because uh, actually I saw a guy, he is very white, and he claimed that he's a black African-American. I mean, uh, in America, everything is gonna happen. <laughs> so they hijack the land, they hijack the history, they hijack the ownership, and then they claim and they play victims. They kill you, they go in your funeral, and they spit in your funeral, and then they put some tears at the end of the funeral to make themselves they are the victims. This is what they do. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, one thing too that you were saying about usurping the, uh, you know, the history and everything like that. One thing that is, that is a very interesting that's happened, and it's been happening for a long time since the day of Abdul Halim Hafid. You know, I think, but the uh, they're saying that Jesus. And, and like I said, I love my people. I want them to come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I used to be a Muslim. I got saved, and now I want them to get, I want the same for them. And, but, you know, one thing they say is that Jesus is a Palestinian. And, and they're usurping the history of Jesus. 
And this is really making the Jews, and this has been in a lot of articles in the Jewish uh, newspapers, that the Jews are saying, no, wait a minute, he's not a Palestinian, he's a Jew, he's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's something that's happening too. So. They, hijack, they hijack everything as usual. They are thieves with certificate. They talk about a river in the wilderness And I know that it's a miracle and nothing left